Hey, what's up? Big Jason from ActiveCampaignRocks.com and ACPowerTools.com. This is your definitive guide on integrating ClickFunnels with ActiveCampaign. There's a lot of issues that I see from time to time in the Facebook users, users group and throughout the web. And typically people think it's ActiveCampaign, but it's actually ClickFunnels or it's the end user's error. So watch this video and get ClickFunnels integrated properly with ActiveCampaign. All right, so first off, here we are in my ClickFunnels account. There's two ways to integrate, API or form. I recommend you use the form. Why is that? Well, API on ClickFunnels side could break, possibly in the future it could break on ActiveCampaign side, but highly unlikely. And you can only add people to a list or remove them from a list. You can't tag, you can't use custom fields, you can't use hidden custom fields. So definitely go with form because then say if you have a weekly show, rather than creating a hundred lists for a hundred different shows, you can use one list and segment by form, okay? So in case you wanna do uh, API, a lot of people run into this problem as well. Let's go to Active Campaign, and we're just going to call it Active Campaign, and it wants your API key and URL. Well, the problem is I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> they put it in, in the wrong order. So if you click on Settings, My Settings, and then click on API, your API URL is first. Okay, I'm going to blur this. You can't see it. All right, so you wanna put your API URL, the first thing in your active campaign account, you wanna put it right here, API URL, and then the API key you wanna put right here. You can click Create Integration, all right? But if you wanna do the form method like I'm recommending, just click HTML form, call it Active Campaign, campaign and then click Create Integration, all right? Now, here is my form. I changed name to first name and last name, and I added phone, because this is gonna help you integrate ClickFunnels with ActiveCampaign and how to do custom fields when you're integrating ClickFunnels with ActiveCampaign, because that's a whole different issue, but this is gonna kill two birds in one stone. Integration and custom fields. All right, so here I am. I'm editing my opt-in page that I've created. Right here, I got an opt-in and a thanks page. So, it typically comes with a name and an email field. So, what I've already done is I've changed this to a first name field. So, input type, that's very important. We're going to cover that in a second, but I have it set to first name, not name. And then you want to create any additional fields. This is before you uh, copy and paste the HTML form, all that create your additional field. So let's just say you want to use last name. Most people don't, but let's just say you did. Just click plus, input form, call this last name, click add to page. So the first name field says type your first name. So we're going to edit this and we are going to say type your last name. And then there's that input type field. We want to call it last name. All right, oh, and there's an icon. So here's the icon. So name icon, and we are gonna center it left so it looks just like, there we go, sweet. And we're gonna click save, because you never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes the things happen with ClickFunnels. All right, now we wanna add that phone. So whatever custom field you want, just imagine the phone number it is. So it's, we're not gonna require it tip in most cases, so we'll put it below the email address and click input form call this phone and add to page and again input type we're going to call it phone number and required nope not required icon yes there is a phone icon sweet and we want to make it look like everything else left perfect okay now you are almost there. You got the ClickFunnels form set up, but now we need the active campaign form, and more importantly, the code for the active campaign form. So let's go here. So there it is. 
you need to grab the thank you page URL. Here's why. Because ClickFunnels has an option for to give you a URL override or a redirect, and sometimes it doesn't work. So we're gonna take this, it's the thank you page, or it could be the sales letter page if you're opting into a one-time offer, anything like that. So we're gonna put click settings in active campaign and redirect override. But I found sometimes this does not work, okay? So what we need to do is go back to your form and we are going to click on form settings and then click on subscription confirmation page. And I've already filled it out. So this could say something else, but you wanna say redirect to a URL instead. And then you're gonna copy and paste this in here, and then you're gonna click save, and you're gonna click save again. Um, one thing with Active Campaign, they haven't made it easy to get back to your form. So you're just gonna to have to click the back arrows after you save in both places. Keep clicking back. All right, now we wanna say integrate with your site. And we don't want all this crap here, the CSS. We just want the form. Again, they're redoing this, so it's going to be way better. And you're not, it's probably going to be a button that says, you know, remove CSS. Here we go. So you want to grab where it says form action. Go all the way down to the closing form tag. And don't worry about, you know, any display or how it looks because we're just using, or ClickFunnels is just using the underlying code. So let's go back to email. Uh, actually, I already did this, so, so we're not connected. And this is how it looks if you do use the API. It's going to connect your active campaign account. You're gonna say add to list, and you're gonna select a list. Email response warrior gold, my email response warrior course, but we don't because again of the drawbacks. So we are just gonna say pay, post from HTML form. And then we are gonna say integrate existing form, add HTML below. All right, I got my HTML. Gonna paste. Now, you could use a hidden custom field here. So let's just say phone number was the name of a podcast show, a favorite color, favorite animal. So what you would do is you would go in here and you would find, so there's the phone field right here. Input type equals text, name equals phone. So you could say, Input type equals hidden. And then you could give it a value. So for my podcast shows, sometimes I say value equals yes. Then I can segment on everybody that has the value of yes in the custom field for, you know, podcast show 2354 or whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's how that works. But we actually want phone to be visible, so we're gonna change that back to text. Almost there, people. Okay, now we wanna parse and save the web form. All right, first name, we gotta sync the fields. We've gotta sync ClickFunnels and, and, and Active Campaigns form. So first name is first name. Last name is last name, email is email, phone is phone. Click save and we are good to go. I'm gonna refresh this page. All right. 
and boom, there you have it. Let's go ahead and confirm. And there you have it. So let's check here. I'm going to scroll down here. And there is the phone number. Sweet. So once again, Big Jason, um, if you somehow are not using Active Campaign yet, you can get a free trial at activecampaignrocks.com. And if you didn't notice, right here on this download button with AC Power Tools from acpowertools.com, um, I have a suite of enhancements that inject Active Campaign with even more superpowers than it already has, and especially for ClickFunnels as well. WordPress, ClickFunnels, uh, regular landing pages. So within ClickFunnels, you can make it so that if someone clicks this link to download, you can actually tag them just based on that click. You can tag them by the type of file. Um, you can add them to an automation. You can add them or remove them from a list, or remove them from automation simply by them clicking this link. That's what AC Power Tools is all about. Um, we can track the percentage of the videos they watch um, and then do automations based on that. We can do automations, add to lists, tag based on link clicks, both in your emails and on your landing pages and in ClickFunnels. And you can request any other integrations as well. So check that out at acpowertools.com. I hope you found this valuable. Um, my blog is at BreakthroughEmailMarketing.com, Big Jason, and enjoy Active Campaign. I've been doing this for over 19 years. I've used some of the biggest and best email service providers in the world. Active Campaign kicks their ass. All right, see you on the next video.